Good evening, people. It's me again, JB. And, whoa, well, what am I doing on my windowsill? Anyways, um, today I thought I might show off something kind of interesting, a bit more creative, what I've done this afternoon. Um, it's to do with some modifications with some of my model trains, I guess you call them. But actually, before I dive into that, I just want to say that I've seen a lot of people do it on YouTube, and I've seen people like do modifications of the merchandise, or um, <clears throat> or of their um, their own creativity or what they've made. So um, so I took inspiration for some of the users, like for instance, if I would say my first one is going to be shown off like from a user named Durawood Productions. This is my first one, the Erdl Boko with the red buffer beam. And the front and back. Okay, so that's just to start off. Well, you can tell there's a a bit of red um just on his axle. And um I don't know, um when the video is I mean, I didn't realise that when I first started the the video of um he does have a few tips on the face, and... So, when Boko was released in the Ertolf range, he had a black buffer beam, which kind of surprised people since it actually is supposed to be red. Although, Tony did actually have that feature as well as his, um... The other Metrovix on the Heldrum range. I think the Bandai did have them, I think. Yeah, I was kind of like, I used the um, acrylic paints for the model. Uh, I've used acrylic paints for all of them, but you'll see me to go on blah blah blah, and I used Crawford and Black assorted paint brushes. I used a few of them. So, um, so this is just like a minor modification. I've done this with also my Diagostinis. I even painted the white rowing board. I even painted my Diagostini Boko roof white but it was because it was partly green I was not happy with the way it looked so that's why I modified it so um, I may also modify his the back of his wooden railway model depends how careful my hands can be if I can get some cocktail sits and here's my next one it's just one take and play unfortunately this is rhyme with a red buffer beam um, also I also have a wooden railway rhyme which I um painted his running board white, I may also paint the buffer beam red too, depends what I can do, um, he's actually, like, I took, um, a little bit of inspiration from the TTMP studios, um, um, what else, um, I also saw HTJT's custom wooden railway Ryan using a whiff, um, so that's what gave me the idea of painting his running board red. Um, it's not very well detailed, although I did Boko's first. Um, now Boko's was inspired by, um, Durrell Productions, so, um, yeah, and also earlier on I had my Hornby Henry and I was going to paint his tender chassis black, but I was a little nervous about getting paint near his, um, tender motor, because he's tender driven, and I was quite worried about that. So, um, so what I might do is, the next time, um, I, uh, might have do some more customising, I might get, say, hat grip together with some more painting, so, um, yeah, it wasn't that hard, but he had a bit of a paint on the magnets that, um, kind of really can surprise me, since, um, he also got some on his buffers too. Well, that's just. I also did the running board with some of my other taken plays on take on Zion, although I don't use them very much. But um, the next one is just basic. Well, this one hasn't been done yet, but I'm planning to turn this into a scrap Edward. I'm quite unsure about the color though. I want to make it look scrap related. I mean, his bogey wheels have been sun faded over time, lost his portal. I mean, this came from, it's my old Tommy Edward, he, years ago when I was young, shortly after I bought him, 
I broke him between him and the tender cup, and that's why he doesn't work anymore. Yeah, that's sad. And the lining's all fading off too. And uh, might take these side rolls off for, for scrap. Um, he's got no face because I'm currently, as you can see, wait before I show you. I'm trying to make it look very good, but it's a little bit dodgy. I'm sorry, I can't do anything about that right now. Um, so um, I'll get to that in a moment. Well, with my other Edward, I have a wooden one right here. I gave him a red buffer beam. Now, I don't w usually would do this, but um, this is my original 2001 Edward, my only wooden one Edward that I own. This is just a slight modification. When I was younger, I wanted to paint him purple, but I think that would look kind of stupid. All right, these, this is not in specific order of the customs that I've done. This is just like on knowledge that will make it look simple. So the next one is actually like a big custom, really. It's a North off brown wooden railway truck, which I painted brown. It was originally unpainted, but I wasn't happy with the way they decided to make it unpainted. I, uh, this was from a charity shop. Uh, Ryan was from a collector's shop. It was from my childhood. A bulko I got off someone else. But you can tell there's like... I don't know. But the Where they indicate the line bars or the grooves, I might fill those in. Um, if I ever get... I might change my mind one day and paint this grey instead of having it brown, but I think having it brown is just, probably looks a little bit less visible texture. Um, depends how I like to reorganize my models and designs. So, anyways, moving on now. Um, this one is just like a minor modification. Duncan, I painted over his chassis black to make it look a bit newer. Um, I tried to paint his, um, cab back but couldn't get it out right so oh well that was just nothing minor the Erdl PSM had a few paint chips in his funnel I know on his roof but I gave him a little bit of a line of repaint so um, it's not very big unfortunately oh well I'll try and fix the line around his tender when it comes time is another modification now and this one is very I'm quite happy with um, is the Erdl Duck with his black running board which I also painted the chips on his funnels to make the chip grey paint less visible I also did the same on both sides um, I made I also one time I lost the um, portal on this side of Duck that um, <clears throat> shows um that would indicate a stickers because they were very small and they got lost quite easily so that's why I picked up a sharpie and drew them back on i might also do his hand railing which i also did with his diagostini model um considering how sh short this model of duck is i'll probably like put that in my modification style Okay, so next one is on another Great Western well is Oliver. Well, not very um, fully detailed, but just a few repaints in the funnel. But unfortunately, you know, his back coupling broke, so that's why I blue tacked it because I coupled him up in Isabel, and that's why he broke. So nothing too big, really. Um, so, okay, moving on now. This one isn't. This one was like had a couple a modification a couple of years back. Arthur, the wooden railway Arthur, gave him a white running board using Tipex. <laughs> Couldn't bear to wait to, for white paint, and I even painted. Uh, well, that's another story. I even painted his magnet guard black, just like um, the tow train took. I took inspiration from the tow train to paint his magnet guard black to make it look better. Um, so what, also then, at the back is nothing, I don't know if I'll be able to fit a little running board, I might make one out of cardboard, depends if I ever get some cardboard, or I get anything really. Um, I might paint, do a few repaints to some of the other trains as well, I may also, 
I don't think that's the star of the customs. Uh, what else? Who else? One band is from my childhood. It's my older little James, which I try to repaint. Um, he lost his front coupling. Tons of paint has come off of the black lining and around his fives. Um, I even repainted it, but it looks really hideous. But I did repaint the black roof, though. I was thinking about turning this into an origin sim, so I thought I'd change my mind and since I've no use for this original James, since I've got a newer James in better condition, I'll keep that James and presumably use this one as presumably scrap dressing. Um, and also he's lost his two front buffers as well, which is just sad. Next one is one of the other things I'm happy about is a Gabrio Oliver with red buffer beams. Yep, so I'm going to speed this up. Yeah, it's back and front. I even detailed his running board last year. Well, this is from my childhood. The funnel's still a bit bent though, there's nothing I could do to fix it. Then oh well. And here's another thing I'm proud of is Renee's, which I gave him black wheels for. I'm still not happy about the livery though, I still want to fix that. I have the million paint so I could like fix the style of his livery if I can do it carefully. Um, I could also like get some masking tape to put on to try and avoid damaging the lines or his chassis. I mean, I could do is repaint his chassis. I mean, I did um, manage to detail his coal bunker. Oh, I even oh, I even did is something else interesting as well. I might even get another Renaissance to make that cabless or the same sky. One, these are scenery items now. These are the buffers that I took inspiration from Mr. Bluebell Engine. I painted these bars black. These were like based off of the illustrations in the original 90s wooden railway pamphlets. Um, this was like, these are just like custom made. I mean, these were just like standard Bria, but these are just like the Thomas wooden railway bumpers. I mean, it's just like when you, when an engine... I want to make them look more realistic. I mean, inspired by the Hornby buffers, I thought these would look more realistic. Um, yeah, um, considering there are a few black spots there and here, um, it's nothing all that simplex. Well, considering that would be a bit messed up, so I might have to stop the video here because I am currently on a limited time. Oh, but before I go, I'd like to just throw these in quickly. Um, this is my purse that I tried to modify, but I did give him a red running board. I tried to actually like hide the paint chips, which years ago I like scraped off a large chunk of this side. And I might fix the eyebrows on another day, that depends. Here's another one I'm proud of. Trevor, I gave him red wheels. Like the 2017 Trevor has red wheels, although he has black line in it. Or it doesn't, just round, fully red wheels. Um, I have to speak this up quickly. Okay, so just so you know, I had a bit of trouble with the red, but although it, it's okay, it's all right, it works now. And the last one I'm going to show off are Donald and Douglas, which I gave him a slight repaint, probably to hide the paint chips. I gave Donald a red buffer beam. I'll give Douglas that another day, which when the time comes, and this effect face that I painted from my old Tommy Edward, I am trying to fix that so as I can make it fit on one of my model engines. I may even, like, well, considering I am not very good at making these, I'll give it another shot some other day. Well, considering that was my video, I hope you guys enjoyed that and thank you all for watching. Hope to see you again soon. And I'll be back again to fix up some minor details to these models to make them look more good looking. So, without further ado, this is me saying goodbye for now, and see you all again another time.